it's been incredibly difficult to make people understand one fundamental point. We are in a spiritual war. It's been incredibly difficult to make people understand one fundamental point. We are in a spiritual war, not a physical war. I know we have killings happening all over the place, but we are in a spiritual war that is beyond many of our comprehension. And do you know why nobody wants to understand this? Do you know why there's such a significant point to say that everything is material, everything is scientific, there's no spirituality, there's no metaphysical entities, there are no jinns, there are no ghosts, there is no magic, everything is just mythology. In fact, if you go and read the research about jinns, they call it Islamic mythology. And they try to, you know, remove the fact that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the Holy Quran, in this book of truth spoken from the Creator, has made mention of these entities for us to reflect and stay away from. Why would he mention that if it's mythology? Why have we classified all of these religious principles uh, from the divine as myths? And so the reason why is that if people even got a semblance of idea, and I'm saying the good-hearted people, if they even had a semblance of idea about the metaphysical, about the spiritual realm of things, then they would also understand a fundamental point that there is an afterlife. See, many people call themselves Muslims, but they live as if they don't have an afterlife. Do you agree with me? Many people live their life as if they're not, that this is it. YOLO. You only live once. So let's, let's focus on our wealth. Let's focus on making as much money. Let's focus on that house. Let's focus on that car. Let's focus on getting this and that. And so there is no effort for the human being to want to step outside the box for a second and ask, hey, is this economy I'm living in pure? Am I doing a lot of service by supporting these things, these, these horrible actions that are happening around the world? And so what happens is if you dismiss the spiritual aspect of the religion, that, and this is not only exclusive to Islam, this is in Judaism, Christianity, Buddhism, this is all around us. These spiritual symbols today are being used by the people that are wielding evil. They're putting it in front of us to desensitize us from these things, to make us think that there is no afterlife, so don't rebel because we'll kill you. Now, if you took anything from the message of Imam Hussein alayhi salam, is that death is not the end. In death, the believer finds sanctuary. In martyrdom, does Imam Hussein attain his rank? Even in the Christian philosophies, now while Muslims don't uh, believe that Christ, uh, Jesus was crucified, but they truly understood that when the Jews of the time came to crucify Jesus, they tried to make him unpopular. Even the concept of crucifixion in Jewish thought was that only a indecent person would be crucified. And therefore that's why they put Jesus there to say that he's not a prophet, he's not God, he's an indecent person because that's the only reason why he would be crucified. And it, as a result, what happened? This made Jesus even more popular, even more recognized, even before the re resurrection. So, so this concept of the afterlife and spirituality and you know beyond the physical has been suppressed so greatly uh, for for one purpose: rebellion. They don't want you to rebel. They want you to be a good little hamster on your wheel and keep fueling a system that belongs to evil. I'm glad you watched our video. Please follow us on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and Twitter to be notified of future video releases.